Hello everybody. Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to do a replication of a magneto hydrodynamic water pump um, using my Bedini motor to energize to energize it and uh, see what I got here. I got a 12 volt 7.5 amp hour battery charged to 2.02 volts. I have a coil that was obtained from a scrap vehicle. I have a bridge rectifier that I made out of 4007s and they go on to those two copper plates right there and then from comes out of the battery into the start wind out of the end wind into the Bedini motor out of the Bedini motor where the charge battery would go and that is connected there so there's, they're on the same piece of copper both both connections positive is one side negative is the other side there's a little bit of salt water in there and a four inch long by one inch wide by half inch neodymium magnet with a 110 pound pole I believe it's like an M43 okay so that is that here we are at 12.2 and let's start her up and see what happens. A little slow getting off. But if we come over here, it's already starting to pump water. Already starting to pump water. Pulling it in this side and pushing it out of that side. And circling it back around on each side. Okay, well let's see what do we have this what kind of energy is sitting here with this We are not getting a good connection. We are charged to four point eight volts across the two plates. And we're pumping. You can see the debris floating down through there. And our battery is at 11.99. The light is off on the Bedini motor. On the Bedini circuit, I should say, it's a mini window motor. These helping hands here are just there to hold up the copper plate and then it makes a nice little thing to stick the probes in for the meter. Okay, so here we have pumping action. And over here we have See nothing there. As you can see, stuff going in there. Okay, well, the battery, the run battery is still at 11.99. We're charged to 4.8 there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the negative. 
off from the charge side of the Bedini circuit. While the motor slows down, we're still at 11.99 going up to 12. The motor slowed down and we now have a charge of 5.9, 5.8 volts across the plates. You can see it's taking it in between the plates there and pushing it all the way out the other end. Let's see if we can get some better look at this one. This side. What if we slide them together? And you can really see the particles coming out of there now. It's definitely pumping. Well, it is definitely pumping the water down between the plates from this end coming in and coming back out, coming out of this end. It's definitely pushing it through. So there you have it. A magneto hydrodynamic water pump. We're still charged to 5.7 volts across the two copper plates. And the battery is bouncing back and forth between 11.99 and 12 volts. Now let's see the only place I have I have a little bit of bubbles on that corner right there. A little bit on that corner. Now the inside of this plate right here has lots and lots of hydrogen production happening off the inside of that plate right there. And then there's nothing on this plate here except the red. It's turned red. 
and then this side here there's no bubbles there no hydrogen production happening there seems like all the hydrogen production is right there on that inside plate right there so I don't know if you can see it better Inside there, see that? But there's a lot of little tiny bubbles coming off of the plate. that almost all the way back to the edge of the plate there and you can kind of see the bubbles on the plate Lots of debris. All that stuff that's floating in there is what has been separated from the water. Right now there's about a half inch wide. And tapered a little bit of one end there. It's really pumping though. Really pumping on the water in there. You can see the material. It's floating in the water, just whoosh right on in there. Same thing's happening on this side too. Right there, right there. Just being pulled right down the side and right into the front. Oh, I seen too much. On this side, this side's really active. And the battery is still at 11.99. We have the a charge of 5.5 volts across the plates, running off the mini window motor with the Bedini circuit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.